not sure what this one here is going to be like. That looks too skinny. Might be. It'd be great for um Maybe for good for a door hinge flapper. Yeah, would be. Hi folks, it's a beautiful day. I'm Glenn. I'm Maureen. And today we're going to be going out into the woods and harvesting a few cedar poles for a project we've got on the go. And we're also going to provide a little update on that forest fire situation not far from us, right here on Cabin Life. Who's got my glove? Somebody got my glove? You got my glove? Huh? You got it? Huh? <laughs> you got my glove? Hey! Where'd it go? Bring it. Bring it. Gotta bring it. Gotta learn to bring it. Ready? Sit. Wait. Wait. Ready? Get it. Who's got the glove? You got my glove. Do you got my glove? Uh huh. <laughs> you got it. Uh huh. I'm buying the plane, huh? Uh -huh. Okay, let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Good boy. Sit. Take sit. Take sit. Good boy. Shake on it. Good boy. Will you lie down? Lie down. Good boy. Good boy. Ready? Ready? Get it. You. <laughs> Get it from you. Okay, let go. Good boy. Wait. Drop it. That's mommy. Mommy's going. <laughs> you go get mommy's glove. Go get my glove. Get mommy. Back. Take me back. So guys, we've uh, 
We got a few poles there cut. I gotta I gotta make some longer ones for this job. There isn't one wrapped around this one. There you go, walk up that with this one here. And I'll walk up with this one here. Out of the back, and that one out of the back. So you can this one? Yeah. One out of the back. How far? Up there. Now this one too. Now do I lift up or just swing? Just fit. Yeah. Minute. Okay. Hold it up. Push up. Stay. Stay there. Careful. Push up. Wait, stay there. That's plenty strong enough. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's big enough. It looks this good. Scattered our, our, our cedar poles, as you saw there, out of the bush. And uh, we're going to make some, just a couple makeshift structures. A shelter would be good. Throw some tarps on over top of that. We need uh, we need a, one of these TP type structures for uh, keeping wood dry. And... Uh, if we can tarp them up properly and whatnot, uh, they make a nice little camp uh, shelter. So, uh, still no campfires yet, guys. For those that are concerned about the forest fire uh, situation, basically, um, I do believe that in our particular area, not the same for all over, but in our particular area, the firefighters have gotten a hold on Perry Sound, fire number 33, and uh, it is not totally contained yet, but is classed as being held. So that means it's not spreading more. So uh, 
Uh, what else did we find out? Uh, there's quite a few fires going on in the province right now. Therefore, we can't have a fire because there's no uh, resources with which to fight a fire if, if a new fire was to break out here. So we are still under a fire ban. No campfires for us until that uh, fire ban or fire restriction has been lifted. What else did we find? In Ontario, Canada, so far in 2018, they've put out 919 fires. They still have 112 active and four are new. So the restriction is because their resources, like all their firefighters and that, they've been really busy putting out fires. Right, so I think they had like, for the forest fires that are still burning around the area and including fire, uh, Perry Sound fire number 33, which is now being classed as held. Uh, I think there was uh, seven or eight helicopters that they had, a bunch of planes that were picking up water, water bombers. Uh, and about 200 personnel that were fighting the fires, not including all the volunteers and service people that were helping to feed the firefighters and keep the lines going, keep the, uh, the uh, vehicles all, in, uh, all gassed up and so forth. So a big operation. Hats off to all those that uh, have helped out with those fires. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very happy to say that the evacuation alerts that were given for Albin and for French River have been lifted so those people don't have to worry about it anymore. Now Henby Inlet Reserve, they were able to go home and our thoughts are with people in other areas of yeah. the world who are battling the same situation yeah, with very much so, yeah. and forest fires. In California we were watching a video and it's just mammoth yeah. and so many houses are burning, so our hearts are going out to them, and they are in our thoughts. Yeah, Oregon is another state. Wow. Uh, there's other other states that are also very dry and drought drought stricken areas. Uh, Switzerland is uh, under siege of uh, drought and fires. Uh, Australia as well, and uh, yeah, you know, there's we're uh, we're all sharing a lot of the same experiences all over the globe. And then there's other areas that are getting rain and, and uh, are hoping that that rain stops because it's just continued to rain, 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 rain. So and the floods. Yeah, and, yeah. Wow. It's, uh, it's Mother Nature and she is awesome. Uh, awesome. She has the power. Aw yes, she has the power. And it's, it's an awesome power. It can be beautiful at times, but it can be uh, just, you know, making your jaw drop, right? So, yeah, it's such a beautiful day out there today. We've uh, really had a good day. Not too many mosquitoes left in the bush. I think all the smoke from the fires must have drove them away. So that's it for this edition of Cabin Life. I'm Glenn. I'm Maureen. And we'll see you next time. Over and out. Take care.